In lesson one, we learned all about StreamCat, a UGC live streaming application. We learned that StreamCat uses Adonis.js and Alpine.js and learned about the application schema and architecture. Here in lesson two, we'll focus on what happens when new users register for an account. As a reminder, there are two categories of AWS resources that make up the cloud architecture of the StreamCat application. The first category is a set of pre-built resources. Things like the Amazon RDS Postgres instance, Amazon EventBridge rules, and AWS Lambda functions that handle automated chat moderation and persistence of live stream events. These pre-built resources were deployed to the AWS Cloud via the AWS Cloud Development Kit, or CDK. The second category of resources are created and deployed on demand. This group of resources include an Amazon IVS channel, Chatroom, and Stage for multi-host real-time live streams. The channel, Chatroom, and Stage resources all have a one-to-one -one relationship with a user, as illustrated in the following diagram. When a new user registers for a StreamCat account, the application will create and persist a new user entity. The username and password are sent to a slash register endpoint via an HTTP form post. These values are used to create a new user and persist that user to the database. Please note, this video series focuses on solving specific problems related to building UGC applications and is not meant to illustrate an end-to-end -end solution. As such, there are certain best practices that are not addressed, such as form input validation and proper password strength enforcement. These items are left as an exercise for the developer or viewer and will vary greatly depending on the language, framework, and security model necessary for your application. Once the user is created, we can now focus on creating the channel, chat room, and stage entities via the AWS SDK for JavaScript. In the StreamCat application, the functionality for working with each entity is encapsulated in a reusable service class, respectively named channel service, chatroom service, and real-time service for working with stage entities. In this lesson, we learned how the StreamCat application creates a new user and what resources need to be created to enable broadcasting and playback for that user's live stream. In the next lesson, we'll look at how to create an Amazon IVS channel for each user.